Rise of Shadows is almost here, and with it, new deck types will emerge as the best ones on ladder. Secret Paladin? Sure looks to be a strong contender. Maybe even Demon Warlock? But there is another deck, a may I say, dare I even say it, a pure fun deck that may be viable? A fun viable deck? Do you think that is madness, perhaps something impossible? And let me tell you something, we are not talking about any fun deck. We are talking about one of the, the most fun decks in the game. Thief Rogue of course. A deck so heavy on RNG, that it is almost impossible to have two games that play out the same. A deck that makes your average Hearthstone game look like fun RNG fiesta, if you survive long enough. So how will the deck be viable? Well it is simple. By having high value cards that support it. I thought we would never see the day. The day that a deck purely based on RNG will be getting support cards that are not overcosted, cards that actually may be competitive in this game of tempo plays. Well, what do you know, we are actually getting such cards. Just look at Underbelly Fence. This card is of the 5 star value rank that tempo cards dream of 2 mana 2 4. But wait, that is not all, 2 mana 2 4, with Rush. Now we all know that this will probably find its way in other decks, but heckety heck. This looks amazing for Thief Rogue decks. Maybe for once there will be a better 2 drop than Doomsayer. For the longest time, and to this day, I would rank Doomsayer as the best 2 drop in the game for fun decks. It clears the threats for turn 1, and prevents your opponent from playing anything on turn 2. But it has its own drawbacks, like no attack, being vulnerable to silence, or simply being a wasted move if it gets killed leaving your board empty and ready for defeat. Well, with Underbelly Fence, we will be getting maybe something even better. First of all, a more consistent 2 mana drop. Now we won't have to wait just for Doomsayer. Second, it looks like it will deal nicely with 1 and 2 mana drops, especially with 4 health and rush. This is good, but what is even better is that with 4 health, this insane card will most likely not only clear the board, but also survive, thus making your opponent waste resources to clear it. Wasting resources means more time for you to set up your Thief Rogue combos, and buying time with Fun X is essentially the most important thing, since they lack tempo. This card, at least in theory, has it all. A perfect addition. A viable addition to Thief Rogue. And on to the next one. And holy guacamole. Prepare a cup of water because staying hydrated is important, this is a good one. Vendetta. If you are holding a card from another class, this thing costs zero. No. Nada. Zilch. Zero mana. Can you comprehend the value? Zero mana is crazy good, especially with condition as this one. Because let's be real, you damn thief rogues always hold other class cards. So what do you get for zero mana? 4 damage to a minion. Which is incredible. There is no combo requirement, there is no being undamaged requirement. You just deal 4 damage, like the 0 mana boss you are. And we all know how good 0 mana cards are for Oak. Do we have to mention Van Cleef, maybe the auctioneer? These lads just love 0 mana cards. But even if you don't use them, clearing a threat from the board is always good. Because surviving is essential for fun decks. And this is yet another tool that will help survival until you get your Thief RNG Fiesta going. Things are looking great at the moment. But that is not enough. We also get a crazy academic espionage combo piece in this expansion. Tacknoz Whisker. Use the good old preparation spell and academic espionage when this dude is on the board, and fill your hand with insane 1 mana card value. Yes it is a late game combo. Yes you may get bad cards, but it will be fun. Especially when you remember that Tess Grey main exists. Now I don't know what changed and what happened, but one of the most fun archetypes in the history of the game seems to be getting serious support cards that may make it viable on the ladder. It sounds insane but also exciting. Of course, none of those predictions may turn out true, and the deck may still be stuck on rank 20. But at least the Thief Rogue is still getting support and it looks ever so strong. What do you think? See you next time.